So in this week's Team of the Week, EA dropped a pretty interesting item. They have given us an Inform uh, Marusic, who is actually originally a left mid in the game, but has been given a centre-back Inform, and he's now an Inform centre-back with 90 pay. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description, and if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. I mean, although 90 pay for a centre-back is pretty mad, we're probably going to see a lot of of it over team of the season so this is kind of like you know a warm-up item anyway he stands at six foot one has got a four star weak foot and three star skill moves in terms of traits sadly nothing to discuss now um obviously the main selling point of this card ultimately is the pace the rest of his stats are pretty average he's got some nice physicals some okay defending and some decent dribbling for a centre back but um other than that as I say there really isn't too much to discuss I just want to try him out because he's a 90 pace centre back and I just want to see how well he performs in game so that's ultimately what we're going to do today. I think it's also pretty obvious that a lot of people are going to get this guy in their red picks as well and if you do do that let me know in the comments. Now in terms of a chem style for this guy I think it's pretty obvious just by looking at his stats that he is going to need a defensive boost so you could go with Shadow if you wanted the big boost on his defending which might actually be the best one to be honest and that way you also get a 99 pierced centre back which is pretty crazy. Anke overall might be the better one but as I say Shadow does give a big boost to defending and without that his defending is pretty average so to be honest I wouldn't even be mad at someone for using Shadow just because it would obviously give that big defending boost. I think for like you know most part the best chem style for him probably is Sentinel because his pace is already mad but it's FIFA 21. People are either going to use Anke or Shadow. In the comments below let me know what you would use. But for the sake of this review and um, we are actually going to go with Anka, even though I am a bit tempted to go with Shadow. Let's go then. In game number one, we are going to have Podolski and Foot Birthday Hunter are running at us. He's also got Foot Birthday Ozil as well. So um, pretty nice squad. And I like some of his links that he's used as well. You don't normally see too many teams like this. So um, yeah, kind of refreshing. But hopefully we can take full advantage of that left back and uh, hopefully expose him down the right edge. Nice block there from the centre back, making his first move since coming into the club. Huntoa, what's he gonna? He's gonna try and get round our main man for this video, but um, we're gonna deny him the first time and the second time, and we are gonna get the ball away too. Okay, here's a chance. Huntoa versus Marusic. Huntoa cuts inside, but we are gonna be able to follow him and force him onto Quadrada. Huntoa out wide for Philip Max, but Marusic is across quickly, but not quick enough. But Chris Small and cleans up at the back. No, I don't think so. Oh, just got that ball away. I was a bit worried we were going to get caught there. And that's half time, and at the break it's 1 1. And I've got to tell you, this game is very, very laggy and has been quite frustrating to play in. I think Marusic has had a pretty solid half, and hopefully I am pronouncing his name correctly. Him and Smalling have been decent together, to be fair, and hopefully can continue that in the second 45. Marusic with a chance to put in a nice ball over the top. Can we actually get on the end of this? We maybe can no Kleber with enough strength, but we do force the corner. Oh my god, big blocks all round. Big blocks. It's Podolski. He's going to try and sprint away from Marusic, who's going to initially get the tackle, but Podolski has actually come away with it, but we've got the pace to have another go. It's still so laggy. This is what I've had to deal with for like a lot of the game. It's really annoying. I haven't experienced lag like this in ages. I tried to do a skill move there and it just didn't get inputted. Well, that's game over and I think my opponent might have one of the worst connections I've played against all year long. Nonetheless, despite not keeping a clean sheet, I thought my centre-back pairing wasn't too bad. We go again and we are up against this. It's um, it's a nice squad, but he's got a couple of players off chemistry, which hopefully, you know, we can do something with. But um, all in all, it's actually a really nice side and we're going to have Ronaldo running at it. Ah, did not like that at all. We go for the long ball clearance and I might have overdone it a bit. Oh wow, that was risky of me, but we've got away with it. And then we've hoofed it up the field, and once again, I've probably put a bit too much in that. I do have to say, though, it's nice to be playing on a connection which isn't powered by a hamster on a wheel, because the connection in this game is perfect. I don't know why it wasn't like this in the last one. It must have been my opponent's internet. He has put the ball through to Ronaldo as well. He's going to cut back. It's just a matter of when. We do get the initial block, but uh, we also get a bit fortunate there as well. Interesting. That was really strange, but we came over with the ball thanks to... Oh, wow. 
Oh wow, it's just gone right into the path of Rooney. What a save that is from Domaruma. Well, that has certainly been an interesting first 45. We were 2-0 down for about 90% of it. And then just before half time, we did score twice. So uh, we're back in it. I will say though, my opponent is pretty good at the game and uh, he's got a very sweaty team and I hate playing up against that freezer armor. But uh, as you can see, we have been up against it and uh, my opponent just plays really good through balls in behind and it really has exposed the defense a little bit. But um, yeah, all I've got to say is credit to the opposition, I guess. Oh, oh, we've got ourselves a penalty. What a 10 around this game's ended up to be. I've got to tell you right now. I'm not confident in this penalty at all, but we are going to do our usual dink down the middle and uh, I just knew he was going to read it, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Well, after a very slow start to the game and being 2-0 down, we have brought it back and uh, we've won the game 6-2 and he has quit after that. So, uh, yeah, tough game. I, I mean, the score really doesn't reflect the match. I, in the first half, we were really up against it and you saw it in the stats, but um, yeah, Smalling was an absolute beast in that game and the stats reflect it. So, after a few matches, it's now time to discuss the overall performances of this card. Straight up, I'll say it's a good centre-back item and it's definitely usable, but is it a great card? No, ultimately, it's not. However, what is this card perfect for? He is perfect for objectives, especially ones in things like managerial masterpiece, where there is a cap on how high the overall rating of a team can be, because this guy isn't high rated, yet he's going to do really, really well in that game mode because he's an absolutely rapid centre-back. A lot of people like to sub on players like Opara in managerial masterpiece just because he's a really low-rated, fast-paced centre-back, and ultimately, that is what this guy is going to become. He's going to be a beast in that game mode. Um, but anyway, let's now focus on how he was for me in the games we played in Rivals. Um, as I say, he was good. He was usable. But would I use this guy in champs? No, I wouldn't. Ultimately, his defensive awareness, I don't think he's good enough, and his reactions to uh, through balls and stuff like that, he just gets exposed a little bit. If you come up against someone who's good with their through balls, um, then even though this guy is super quick, he is going to be exploited, just because on the 10, he isn't that quick. When he's going in a straight line, very, very quick, but when on the 10, as I say, can be a bit slow to react, and ultimately, that is this item's downfall. So, uh, yeah, also his defending stats are just not that great for this stage of the game, and even with a defending heavy chem style, they're still not anything too spectacular, which is unfortunate. But uh, nonetheless, as I say, it is a usable item. I like the physicals, I thought he showed good strength in game, which was nice, and also aerially he was pretty solid too. His passing was okay, and um, won't lie, did expect it to be a bit better with him originally being a midfielder, but it certainly wasn't awful. And uh, I also do like the four star weak foot as well, it just gives you options when clearing out the back with a centre back but um, ultimately as I say it's a good card it's usable but would I use it in champs no I wouldn't and um, yeah that is a bit of a shame but it's what we'd expect from an 81 overall at this stage of the game Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the 81 rated Marusic. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.